Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on my outside electrical cabinet. I installed this last year and there's cables running from my second consumer unit indoors to this cabinet. Uh, currently it's not live but I want to start connecting up some outside um, lighting and sockets and things like that so I'm going to start work on this now so I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, overview of the cabinet so it's made of uh, some quite thick fiberglass it stands about um, a meter tall just under a meter I think eight nine hundred uh, millimeters it's got a lock on here and then you've got this triangular key to open it up. I mounted this on a concrete uh, base. So the concrete base stands about 10 inches proud uh, of the ground, but it goes about a foot and a half under. And then from the house, about 800 millimeters underground, there is a conduit in which all the cables are run and they come up inside the cabinet. So what I thought I'd do is just give you a quick overview. So just have a look a little bit on top. So slanted top for the roof to slide off. Um, I don't know how deep it is actually. Let's have a quick, a quick see. So that is 250 mil deep. So I'm assuming it's about 250 mil wide. Let's just check that. Oh no, it's slightly wider, 260 wide. So if I go ahead and uh, unlock it, we can have a look inside. So you just pull this uh, to one side. It's a bit difficult with one hand and then you put the triangle key in and then open that up and then turn and open so you can see inside it's quite a bit of room you've got some wood at the back which is about 15 16 mil thick so you can screw things to it you can see here at the bottom there is the conduit it's about 40 mil conduit coming up to a junction box if you saw an earlier video that i did uh, creating a, a din rail uh, terminal junction box this is this so I'll open that up you can see what that looks like so you've got the protection of the cabinet and then inside everything is further protected here so the plan is I've got mains cable I've got an ethernet cable and I've got some switch lighting cables coming up here into this box and then I'll bring those out and feed them through the top of the box through conduit to the various places around the garden so if I've, I've left my screwdriver here if I go ahead and undo this I can show you inside so let's just undo that so there we are that's open and if you remember there are all the uh, din rail terminal blocks you can see the cables coming in at the bottom these aren't live yet they're not switched on uh, on the second consumer unit i've got here on the left two lighting circuits uh, that switch live neutral and earth twice they're going to power some outside lights i've got an ethernet cable so i'm going to have a ethernet switch in here so i can do an outside relay extender and all sorts of things like that and then i've got a, a six millimeter squared uh, live neutral and earth block with common rails so from there I can power sockets and things around the garden and then on on this wall I can pin cables so I'm going to put an ethernet connector block on there I'm going to put a uh, ethernet switch and then a few other bits and pieces I've even got a project that I want to do uh, for automated watering of the garden so all of the control circuitry will go in here so the door's quite good you can see here there's a, a lock system so that it locks on the top and then again at the bottom and then there you can see there's a rubber seal around the edge which makes it waterproof I believe this is an IP67 rated cabinet anyway so that's that thought I'd just show it to you because it's going to appear in a few other videos uh, in the future it's uh, it's a bit ugly uh, but what I might do is uh, spray it in some kind of camo effect so it uh, disappears into the garden uh, but that'll be the f in a future video anyway hope you enjoyed that and uh, i'll see you in future videos take care everyone